Okay. Welcome to another episode of Sailing Indiana. In this episode, we finally get round to finishing off the engine bits because we've had Christmas, we've had New Year, and we've been neglecting things and just getting on with our eating and drinking. Eating and drinking. Harry Potter marathons. Harry Potter marathons <laughs> and things like that. We have. <laughs> Are you alright? Yeah, okay, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're not drunk now, by the way. This is just me on a normal day today, basically. Okay, strong, cup, strong cup of tea this morning. Right, I'm putting in the heat exchanger, um, or putting back together the heat exchanger, and putting the heat matrix back in, and then I'm going to put this back on after having the head, putting the head back on. Now this can be put up to it. So that's the heat matrix. It's got to go back in here. It's all been cleaned up, and just hoping that it all goes back together how it came apart. <laughs> <laughs> It's got to line up, there's a little pin, if you can see under here, um, in there, mm -hmm. and that meets up with the, the little pin hole there, so you know that you're okay. <laughs> That's what I'm going to try and do. It was a real issue getting this out, but it just slides back in like that. <laughs> so. <laughs> Now it's, all, that? now it's all clean. <laughs> There's no issues. Um, what I do need though are gaskets. So we've got, there's two that go on each end and hoping that I've got what I need. There's enough little packets of things around this boat. Yeah, do I get them mixed up? So there's one there that will, um, well it actually goes in this, on this end first, sits in there and you've got the cross bit there. Okay. Um, and then there's the main rubber, rubber ring there that sits on each end. So here we go. <laughs> Okay, as we've spoken about before, the exhaust mixing elbow was probably the issue given the state of it. Even some like gasket glue that somebody's tried to have a go at before. So yeah, this is probably the area of um, concern. So shiny new one. Problem is though that this is a little bit bigger than this one. Like it pretty much, it can fit back in itself. So. Otherwise, everything's all the same. So, uh, well, yeah, we're just gonna have a look at the the pipe. It's a rubber pipe that goes on it, so maybe some hot, like boiling water, like something that can get the rubber soft and so like soft enough so it will stretch over it. But it's not the biggest concern in the world. Um, we'll, we'll we'll manage it. So here we go. There's a certain way it goes up. I think where the screws are. Can we just open that and just check sure. what the, the blue exhaust elbow? Nice. That's where we label things. 
so nicely. <laughs> oh, yummy, aren't they delicious? Mm, let's have a look. Oh, they're a bit sh shocking. Yeah. All right, stop the video. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see. That's no good, is it? <laughs> Do you want me to wipe them up for you? That's oh, so funny. To... Well, you can't get bloody rusty dust in your eyes. Okay, so we're not putting on the heat exchanger yet because we forgot to clean the bolts and we just looked at them and they're like super corroded and there's chunks of metal that are, that are coming out of it when we're trying to clean them. So I'm going to order a few of those and put it on later, but um, it doesn't need to go on in order for the heat exchanger to go on. So I'm going to put the heat exchanger on now. Yay! Bob's your uncle. Like so. Like so, like that. What have you got here? Just brewing some pipe tea. <laughs> pipe and a mug. Pipe and a crepe? Pipe Cigar and a waffle? <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a schmuck and a pancake? A what? Cigar and a waffle? No. Pipe and a crepe? Trying to loosen up the rubber pipe or soften it up in some boiling water. So I'm hoping that with a bit of heat, it will just, you know. Bob's your uncle. It'll relax itself. It's like a little spa for a pipe. Ooh. No. Oh, I thought it went in. Mm, it's not liking it. I think the time has come to take a little bit of length off of the beard. Who are you talking to? <laughs> um, she's coming. Shh. <laughs> What's well, none of your business? What are you doing in here? Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? <laughs> These guys. <laughs> okay. Go away. It's not about you this time. Here's Lauren. <laughs> Pretty scary. Okay, bye. <laughs> All right, now she's gone. <laughs> yeah, I've got to try not to make a mess as well. So this is how we do it. do all this now because of that. I thought I'd keep the moustache but what do you think? It's pretty short. I don't know if I like it. I can see too much of my face. Oh well it's too late now. Um, what's happened? Well, I'm just having a little tidy up and I forgot I have some of these little ski goggles. Excellent for sailing, yeah? Um, yeah, well they actually are because if you got some sea spray then 
maybe you'll need some of these. <laughs> keep, you know. Keep your wits about, yeah. That's right. Oh my God. <laughs> so we, we need to replace two fuel filters, primary and secondary. We need to then, uh, we need to then bleed the fuel lines right the way up to the injectors. We need to then put the belt back on. We need, there's another hose that needs to go on. We need to then fill up the coolant, fill up the oil and give her a start. Yeah, that sounds so easy. A starting attempt. Yeah. But we'll need, to, we'll need to bleed up to the um, fuel pump first and then put the belt back on and then put the fluids in because we need to get the, the fuel up to the injectors we need to crank the engine um and obviously we need to have fluid in it to do that so but we'll see we'll see how it goes and uh yeah we'll hopefully have a, a, a running engine by the end of this yeah unless lauren falls into it and breaks it no i won't fall into it and break it go uh this is the the first fuel filter that the uh diesel comes to so that's going to be changed and then this is the um the next fuel filter or the secondary fuel filter the fine fuel filter so that's going to be changed as well uh this is the little coolant reservoir that i took off and cleaned inside which i don't know is pretty it was pretty gross so that'll be fine um and this is a cup of coffee so this is the primary fuel filter and we need to drain down the diesel that's in there. Um, it's got a little bleed valve at the bottom of it, which is for any sort of water or condensation that might have come from the tank and uh, that's sitting in that filter there. Yeah, you can basically, basically just drain that off um, when you need to, but obviously at the moment we need to drain the whole thing out. And then I think it just unscrews from this top pin um, and then drops out. But yeah, not done it before, so we'll see. <laughs> I think it's just a case of undoing the valve here. hurdle. Now we've got the pliers out and we can't do it. Don't want to break it. Plan B. Plan B, just open up this. This is all sediment from the diesel tank. Ugh. So, that is gross. Not good. No, that's disgusting. Obviously, that's not a good sign for our fuel tank. No. Because we don't want that sitting on the bottom of our fuel tank. So, maybe that's a job for the future. Mm -hmm. Proper clean out. But for now, we'll get a going with this. Oh my god. Do you not spill that on my bed? I won't do it. Ah! Ew. Ew. Mmm. Mm. Diesel soup. Diesel. And how are we disposing of that the correct way? Yeah, we've got 
um, uh, sort of jerry can that we've put the old oil in as well so we'll chuck some diesel on top of that and then there's a little disposal place in the uh, marina we can chuck it so not chuck it but leave yeah. it to be disposed of do not put it down the sink people no best not because it will be all around the boat it'll just float on the water and it'll have a bloat you've got a diesel leak or you've just been an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah this is what i've been putting the oil in so i'm just going to do this and hope that it doesn't go everywhere and it did Oops. Oopsie, do you want to get some more pictures? Of course it didn't go to plan. Uh, <laughs> but what does? Oh no. Just a bit of diesel, you know. On the nice floors. I'm sure it's had it's like squelching in between the uh, floorboards. Oh well, that's a job for later. Whew. It is not nice out there. Get back to work. Just gonna lube up the top oh god the top of this with some fuel just so it doesn't rip rip the rubber as it goes in sorry about the slapping noises that's the water on the sugar scoop yes yeah, not a very nice day out there it's very gray and miserable not nice so we were told that in the set that comes from um i think it's the yamaha refill for this filter there's only two of these um, filters but you actually need three there's one on the glass bowl uh, one that goes on top of here and one that goes on the, the base of this um, so the part you need is that basically mm -hmm. so order a, one of those in addition to your um, to your refill kit it's a little bit of, of a hint for you there Chris's hints tips and tricks that's what it's all about put the fill filter back up into there sort sort of you know stays where it is bringing up the reservoir and i want to sort of pre-fill the reservoir so that um you know when we go to start it doesn't have to fill this first and it just gives it a better chance of going but the glass bottom and the metal bottom are sort of independent from each other and i don't want i don't want to start pouring diesel into it and then it just starts draining out so I, it's just going to be a bit precarious, that's all. <laughs> so, we'll um, see how this works. So, with the help of some Asda beans, <laughs> um, we've got some diesel in there. Make sure, obviously, that whatever you use is, is clean before. Yeah, and yeah no that water. was good up clean. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to put, put, pour it in, I guess. And I hope it doesn't go everywhere. I don't speak too soon. Okay. I just need to do this on here. Good job, sugar beans. All right. One down, one to go. Right, now we're going to change the secondary or, yeah, secondary fuel filter, the little one. Uh, on the side, maybe it's the primary, secondary, we'll see, but it's a little one on the side <laughs> and it's just got a little metal housing and you use a hammer and a little screwdriver just to tap it open and it drops down, it'll be full of diesel so make sure you've got something to catch it all and then yeah, just drops. this drops down, there'll be a little um, rubber seal, replace that and then refill up the chamber before you put this back in um, and this just pops up and slides back on, so it should, should be as easy as that. it off and this is it so just check for any crud that might be in there um, it's probably gonna be a little bit and there is floating around the bottom so yeah just use something to to clean it out really yeah that just pushes up oh, into there cool. so that's that Yeah, I can get it. 
I can get it now. Right, so now's the time to reopen the fuel valves, which is this one on the in and this one on the out, as we're gonna just pump some fuel through and try and get fuel up to the high pressure fuel lines in order to then be ready to um, bleed them through to the injectors. This is the fuel lift pump, and I'm trying to bring fuel in through the lines, at least up until where the high pressure fuel lines start. But I don't know whether I'll have much joy oh no it's working so yeah so fuel's now using that lift pump um oh, can yeah, you just you see it see coming it. out there yeah. um which i didn't even notice <laughs> so i don't know how long it's been coming out <laughs> but um so that'll be all over the engine bilge now so that's great it's not work but at least we've got fuel up to here and this yeah. this is where your high fuel high pressure fuel lines start and you won't be able to get fuel any further than this without cranking the engine, really. So we now tighten down all of these, mm -hmm. tighten down that, and that's ready to then crank the engine up to, if you can see under here, the injectors. And I can't see, yeah, there's a nut here, yep, that will crack that open a little bit. When we're cranking the engine to start, we'll, de we'll use the decompression levers so the engine doesn't actually start, lift all those up. And then when we see fuel coming out of here, tighten them down and we know we've got fuel into the injectors and she's ready to go. Okay, we thought it would be a good little moment to say a special thank you. We have a friend on the pontoon who um, randomly over Christmas said to us, oh, pop over, uh, I've got a present for you. And we have been blown away. And so thank you, Jules, for this amazing present. He saw us doing all of the engine work and he said, look, you can't be doing that with the tools that you've got, <laughs> which were minimal. And we obviously did also break the socket set that we did have, which was tiny. Um, and this is just incredible. So Aww. yeah, it's like everything you could ever wish for in terms of sockets. And it's got all of these cool things as well. And yeah, more than we know what to do with, but it's going to be really really helpful going forwards and so yeah we can't thank you enough for your generosity thanks and, jules yeah what's happening now so this is the raw water pipe that we kept off whilst we were fiddling around with the fuel so we pumped the fuel up to here and we tightened down the um, high pressure fuel lines that were there and we're waiting now until we finish the rest of it before then bringing the fuel up to the injectors like we spoke about before so now we've just got a couple of pipes to put back on and the belt. And then we're going to top up some liquid. Okay, so we're going to call it a night because it's got to about half seven and we're getting hungry. Um, Lauren's getting hungry. <laughs> Lauren's getting hungry. <laughs> so we've topped up oil, we've topped up coolant, but we put too much oil in. The dipstick's now, yeah, it's just, yeah, rookie error, but it means now we've got to pump out some of the clean oil, which is it's just a little bit annoying, really. But otherwise, everything's gone all right today, so we just need to, um, yeah, get fluids in so that we can crank the engine, bleed the um, fuel and fingers crossed that's it. So, good job. Yeah. You did a good job. Stay tuned.
we will be back so soon, so soon.